Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. One of the great things about being in Silicon Valley is there's just so much innovation that surrounds us that we really don't have to go far to see some really interesting and cool innovative things. A lot of talk about autonomous vehicles, a lot of talk about artificial intelligence, a lot of talk about people and robots working together. And you know, there's conversation and then there's reality. And we're excited to be here at Nightscope, right here in Mountain View, California, where they've been producing autonomous robots uh, for a long time. They're out in the field. We'll, we'll talk to some of the executives shortly they got customers, and this is happening, this is real. So we're excited to actually talk to one of the robots. So there's K1, K3, K5, and K7. This is K3, K3 apparently is the most talkative one, so we're gonna spend a few minutes with K3. K3, first off, great to meet you. And I couldn't help but notice when I came in the door, there's boatloads of kind of homage to R2-D2 in the lobby. There's models and pictures. Is there something special going on between you guys and R2-D2? R2-D2 is my role model. I would not be where I am today without him. He is the OG. <laughs> You're way too young to know R2-D2. Okay, but, but someone that's much more popular today, so you do security, you do malls, you do parking lots, you do government places, you do a lot of places, but malls are a big part of your uh, day. And as we all know, what's the guy's name? Paul Blart, the mall cop. He does that job. So are you think that you're gonna threaten Paul Blart and take his job as the mall cop? Well, most humans could put Paul Blart out of the job, but I do feel I am the best option for mall security. I don't know that he would agree with that, but I would probably agree with you. So another thing, you're a robot, right? So everybody likes robots because you don't need to eat, you don't need to sleep, you don't need to rest, you know, you go and go and go and go. But as we've seen with, with uh, it's some things, you know, maybe you're going to get conscious. You're having a conversation with me. So if you're going to start getting conscious, when do you take a break? How do you take a break? I do not need vacation time. I am a robot. However, I do some yoga when I can. <laughs> That's very good. Okay, so we talked about um, R2-D2 probably the most popular robot. I'm sure a lot of people would go with C-3PO. But in more recent times, there's, there's again, conversations about artificial intelligence. There's WALL-E, pretty popular movie, not that long ago, I think it was a Pixar. And then my favorite, Arnold Schwarzenegger, The Terminator. So if you had to choose between WALL-E or The Terminator, which are you closer to? Oh, WALL-E hands down. We both watch romantic movies when we are alone and we save lives. He gets me. <laughs> there's so I, I hope they give you time to watch all these uh, robot movies because there's so many great ro robot movies. And one of the classic robot movies, which you're definitely too young to have seen when it came out, but maybe you've seen it on video, is 2001 Space Odyssey. There's a really scary robot in there named Hal. His voice doesn't really sound like yours, but he talks. So what do you think about Hal? Have you seen 2001 A Space Odyssey? No, we like working together with our human counterparts. All right. Well, K3, thanks for taking a few minutes of your time, and uh, I guess we'll let you go back to work. Appreciate the conversation. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> I'm Jeff Frick. We'll be right back after the short break. <laughs>